Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. Yay, it's almost the weekend. I'm so excited except I have to work this weekend. <laughs> this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I'm coming to you live on Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And I just wanna say, hey, hope you are having a great day. Um, I have had one heck of a day but I am not gonna tell you all the details of that because it was not a great day. <laughs> it was one of those crazy chaotic days at work that I wish I could forget. <laughs> so let me just see if anybody's watching, get my computer going and let me show you what we're gonna be doing today. So this is the card I'm gonna be showing you today. And isn't it beautiful? All my stuff is in the way here today for some reason, hold on, let me tilt this just a little bit get it out of the way there we go that's a little bit better let me see okay I don't know why it looks like it's higher up or something today because you can see all my stuff in the way <laughs> let me scoot it over a little bit let me scoot it this way let's see who is on hey Marsha I see there's several people watching you need to put a comment in so I can see who it is and I still have a crooked camera. What the heck? Oh, well, we're just going to have to deal with crooked camera, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. So these are the two cards that I made last time. Not last time. Time before last, I think. It was sometime last week. And this is using the Peaceful Place Designer Series Paper and the Peaceful Cabin Stamp Set. It's kind of one big giant suite called Peaceful Place. So I did these two cards um, in a video last week. And tonight we're going to be doing this one. And this one is almost all, all paper. The only thing I stamped was the words. And the words are not in that stamp set. They are actually in a different stamp set that my Upline Faith found in the catalog that I hadn't even noticed yet. So it's in this one called Inspired Thoughts. And it's got the Peace, Love, Joy, or Peace, Joy, Love right there. And it's also got a couple other ones that are Christmassy. This one. And uh, I think that maybe is it. But it's got a, cute, a lot of cute little sayings. So um, she did a card. I didn't bring it with me, but it's really pretty. And it used those same words. So um, I bought that set just for those words. <laughs> but let me show you what else we're using. So this is the Peaceful Place Suite on page 36. And it shows you everything you get on page 37. This is in the Holiday Mini. So you've got the stamp set and the dies. This paper, which is velvet, white velvet. The timber embossing folder. And then you've got some sequins, some ribbon that's got sparkles on it, glitter, glitter ribbon. And then this is what we're using is that Peaceful Place Designer Series paper, which is gorgeous. And here's the stamp set right here. And it is absolutely beautiful. But the two together are amazing. But last night I needed a quick card because I knew I would be working all day. I didn't get off of work till after six today. So... I raced home and got home about 6.30 and I wanted to get this video started by 7. Hey Kathy, hey Angie. And um, so that gave me like 30 minutes to change clothes, eat something real quick because I didn't have time for lunch today and then um, get the video going. So I had to have everything ready to go yesterday. So I didn't get off late till late yesterday too. So that made me stay up late to have to do a project. So I came up with something quick and this was it. So. If you haven't seen these two cards yet, I have a video. Just go back to my YouTube channel and go back about three videos, and I think it's on there. So there's those two. So this one is almost all paper, like I said, and this is the paper. I didn't have any left of this sheet without opening another pack. So this was the only piece I had left from that other card. And then we've got this one, which has the um, silver embossed part the it's specialty paper so one side is plain like gray and white and the other side is embossed with silver so this one and then this is the back and this is a great one to cut like this way and then do your cards that way like i did the other day this is the piece we're using today and then on the back is some embossed silver sparkles then here's some trees and the back is embossed with the timber same timber pattern as the embossing folder. I'm also using this piece, piece with the snowflakes. And on the back is the plaid, which is really pretty too. Both of these are really pretty. 
And then this one is gorgeous. You could either do six by six scrapbook pages with it or do cards with it. And then um, just cut it like in quarters or you could cut it this way and do something. I don't know. I haven't messed with this piece yet. So that's for another card. So let me show you what you need. So to start, we're going to have a piece of five and a half by eight and a half gray granite, a piece of five and a quarter by four designer series paper that I just showed you from the peaceful place, another piece of gray granite, three and a quarter by four, and then a piece of another piece of designer paper from that same pack, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. This is the one with the cabins on it. And then two little teeny pieces of gray granite. One is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. They're just little squares. And one is one by one. So this is to stamp the words on and that's for the back of the words. And they're both gray granite. So that's what you need for your supplies, your paper supplies. So get a screenshot and then we're gonna get started. And this is the easiest card. All you have to do is cut some paper and stamp some words, that's it. So these two go together and that one goes there. This is the one I'm gonna cut. So you need a paper cutter. So this started out as, I think, let me see, what did I say I forgot now? Let me measure it again. It's three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So let me put this up a little bit higher so you can see it. All right, so it's three and three quarters long and I wanna cut it at one and a quarter and one and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go over here to one and a quarter and put it down and I should have put that at the top and I do my paper cutter upside down for most people I know I like my numbers close to where I can see them because at the top they're too far away so um, just hold that down pull it towards you so there's one piece and then you're going to scoot it over and do one and a half again I mean not one and a half one and a quarter sorry right there and put it down and slice it. So now you've got three pieces. So all I did was cut that at one and a quarter and one and a quarter to give me those three pieces. And then I'm just going to kind of pull them apart a little bit and put them on top of here. So you're going to have them on here like this. And I love this technique when you have really, really pretty paper. This is a really great technique to do because it just takes like the scenery or flowers or whatever you have and just kind of separates them a little bit and puts a little bit of color right in the middle. So I'm going to use my um, green glue and um, just start with this piece right here. I know my border is going to be the same all the way around, which is about, um, what is that, a quarter of an inch, I mean, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter of an inch. Make sure you get these in the right order and not upside down. So you want all these borders to be exactly the same all the way around. And then the last piece. So this is literally like a two minute card. You can't really cut these ahead of time because they might get mixed up and you don't want them to get mixed up because you need to have them in order. Yeah, a little piece of fuzz here from the cutter. I need a new blade on that cutter. All right, so there you go. That's that piece right there. Then you just want to stamp your words on this little teeny tiny one inch square. And I'm using that Peace Joy Love. And I've got basic gray, which is the ink pad I never use. I had to re-ink it like for an hour the other time I used it last week because I never use it. All right, we're going to stamp the words right here in the middle, hopefully, because I only brought one piece. And there we go. Perfect. All right, and then what I want to do is take this and just dip it just dip the edge right on the ink pad. So I'm just touching it to the ink pad and then turning it. I'm probably gonna get my fingers inky with this. Hopefully I won't get it on my paper. So I'm just touching the edge like that to the ink pad. So that's gonna just, it just soaks up a little bit of color all the way around and gives it a little bit of a border without having to sponge it. So I think it gives it a really pretty look and it takes a second to dry. You just wanna make sure you don't get it on your fingers. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a sec. And then we're gonna put it together. So we've got the bottom piece here with this one. And I love that plaid on the back too. I just think that's so pretty. 
I love that gray. This is what my house looks like. My entire house is done in this, um, what do you call it? Barn, uh, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, <laughs> why do I always draw a blank when I try to think of stuff? <laughs> oh my gosh, farmhouse. Oh my gosh, totally drew a blank on that. My house is like farmhouse style. So everything is like black and white and gray. Not everything, but most everything. And I just love it. It's so pretty. All right, so then we're gonna put um, some ribbon around this. I forgot to mention we need ribbon. So let me wrap that around. And we need a piece. This is three and three quarters. So you need about another inch on either end. And I lost my scissors, here they go. So just cut a little bit around and you want it kind of down a little bit and just tape it to the back. Oh, I'm so glad I'm off tomorrow. I got to go to Costco in the morning, which that's crazy. Costco, I don't know why they don't build another Costco here. We have one and it's always insane. It's like a zoo no matter what time you go. What time, it doesn't matter what time of the day, it's crazy. But I need a few things. So I'm going to have to brave the crowds. All right, so put a bunch of dimensionals on the back of this. Mine are sticking for some reason. All right, and then peel that off. I see some comments, hold on. I didn't get that stamp set or paper yet, but I think I'm gonna have to, okay. Angie, you've gotta get the paper, oh my gosh. Thank you, Betsy. Sherry, hey Sherry. You're catching me live. Gingham. Yeah, gingham is a paper, but I was trying to think of the word for my house. My house is farmhouse style. I have everything like really cool. Like I did, oh, I'm missing one. I thought I had one left. Here we go. All right, now they're all sticky. All right, so we're going to put that down um, a little bit towards the top and try and center it. All right, and then we want to put these two together and I just glued them straight together. I'm just going to put this glue because it's so little. And tape that down and see how it gives it a really nice frame in there with that black well not black it's basic gray but it's like dark dark gray and then we're gonna put that on with some dimensionals too I think I'm gonna little, use some little pieces of dimensionals for that and then you, you guess what I had for dinner tonight you're not even gonna believe it I didn't really have dinner because I only had like five minutes to eat something, maybe 10. And um, I didn't feel like fixing anything. So my go-to thing to eat is Tillamook ice cream. <laughs> and my friend Beth told me that it's on sale again this week at Food Lion. So I said, well, I guess I'm just going to have to eat what's in the freezer so I can have room for some more that's on sale. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go buy Food Lion this weekend too and get some more um, ice cream. Because I've only got like one left. All right, so there we go for that. Then we've got to tie some ribbon. Uh, we want a bow. Let me get these little pieces out of here. All right, so we've got our crinkle white seam binding ribbon. And we've also got some linen thread. So what I did was I put them together into one. And then I made a bow with both of them wrapped together. And I thought it gave a really cute look. My friend and Upline Faith did this the other day. And it looked so pretty together. So, of course, I had to copy because everything she does I love. And then you get this double bow. So part of it is with the linen thread. And part is with the seam binding. But it's so pretty together. Isn't that cute? Love how it just comes together. So pretty. So then you've got both of those together. I'm trying to get them to squish tighter. That's the only bad thing about doing two together. It's harder to get it to um, get tighter. All right, so now we've got those two together and then I'm going to trim it a little bit. I don't want it off the page too much. Oops. All right, so I like to leave my ribbon on the roll when I tie a bow just because I feel like I waste less. That's a little bit too long, so I need to trim just a teeny bit more. Okay. 
All right, and then we're gonna put that on with the glue dot. Ice cream, yep, ice cream. Tillamook ice cream. It's from Tillamook, Oregon, I found out. It's the best ice cream there is out there that I've ever had. It tastes just like homemade and it is delicious and I know it's not a healthy dinner but it does have dairy in it so <laughs> it has to be something good <laughs> and I don't even drink milk I kind of have a, a, a lactose intolerance but I don't know the ice cream doesn't bother me so I'm good all right so there's our bow isn't that cute then we got to put a little bling on here so we're going to put some of the metallic pearls these are the silver metallic pearls you get silver and gold and these just went so perfect with this paper. I started to put regular pearls on here and then I saw these sitting on the table and I was like, ooh, I like those. And then we have to have some Wink of Stella. So I've got my Wink of Stella here and I put um, just some sprinkles. So I just took it, let me get a pen. And you just tap it on here and you can see all the sparkles just go on that paper. And it's so beautiful. It looks like snow. And the paper has sprinkles all over it too, some little sparkly sprinkles. So if you look really close, you can see like how it's embossed in the silver here with the little snowflakes. So this Wink of Stella just makes it sparkle even more. So that is my card for you tonight. That was a quick one. That only took like less than 20 minutes. Oh, Tillamook cheese is good too. Yes, yes it is. I'd had some of that yesterday because I made, um, ham and cheese sandwiches and I had some Tillamook cheese. All right, what do you guys think of this card? You love it? How about the other two that went with it? So now you've got three cards with this paper that you can make and that are all really, really easy, super easy. And if you miss a tutorial for these two, just go back a few videos. I think it's maybe three videos back, but um, what do you think? Love it, love it, love it, love them all. Thank you, thank you. Give me some hearts and likes. If you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, um, don't forget to comment and like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I love getting comments and you can win the cards by leaving a comment because I pick a comment from each video and that person wins the card. So I have a few that I've already picked. So if you've missed some videos, you need to go back and watch them because um, several of y'all have won. I don't know if anybody watching this video has won, but... I have picked probably six people that still have not responded. So I've got cards just sitting here waiting to go. So if you want a card, make or if you haven't won a card, make sure you go back and look at the video. See if I have picked your name in a different in, a, in one of the last ones. All right, Sherry, yours is coming to today. Well, that's good. So you can make these cards tonight. There you go. Well, you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I will be back Saturday with another video. It'll be late in the afternoon because I have to work till three, so it probably will be in the evening sometime. But um, also don't forget it's celebration. If you wanna place an order or um, sign up for my team or anything else, you get lots of free goodies during celebration. For every $50 or every $100 you order, you get a free gift. So here's the host code for the rest of August. And this is my website, stampingwithlisa.com. Make sure you check for my name on there, Lisa Freeman. And I will see you guys back in a couple days. Bye-bye.